So there are things we can do to dissuade an attacker. And again, being ready in a ready position now, I've got a buffer between us. It's also, by the way, a really good indicator. So if, if a person touches their chest against my hand or their face, or maybe they slap my hand down, then I, they're within striking distance. If they can touch my, the end of my fingers, whatever's on the end of these fingers, boom, I can strike. Uh, and I can even strike further than that, obviously, with a step forward. If I step forward, I can cover you know, three or four feet. And if it's a kick, with a step forward, I can cover five, six, seven feet. Um, so uh, being ready, here comes that aggression. Uh, this is a big dis dissuader. It, it, you can, hey, get away from me. And again, I might have to hit the switch. It's going to go in increments, but there's a sort of zero to 60 point. Where I'm going, hold on, wait a minute. Hey, man, listen, I don't want any problems. And I realize mentally this is not going to stop. And so I would rather show extreme verbal aggression. I would rather have the sort of this emotional assault on the person who's come to attack me than to actually have to fight them, right? Because something could go wrong. They could pull out a knife, a gun, their friends could come. So I could lose this fight. So, so to prevent that, it's almost like a bluff, but not a bluff because I'm willing to fight to the death, but I'd rather not. And I don't think they are. I don't think most people are willing to fight to the death. And so now I'm going to use my voice to convey that. You don't want any of this, dude. You don't want to fight me to the death. Right? I'll bite. I'll, I'll scratch. I'll claw. I'll do whatever I need to do to inflict damage on you, to, to stop you. So I, so I survive. I'm going to survive this encounter. So I don't think every single person on the planet uh, is willing to do that. So I need to convey that. So I flip that switch, get away from me, get out of here. And I'm jabbing. Again, I have this motion, get away from me, get out of here. I'm getting really loud, really big in terms of uh, people are now gathering and looking. And now I have potential allies. I mean, you could also gather in potential enemies, but that's beside the point. I'm making it a big scene. And now people are involved. Now, maybe they don't jump in, but they're at least watching. And I can say, hey, get this guy out of here. Get him out of here right now. Call the cops. I can start, you know, reaching out for help here. I can be like, hey, get him away from me, dude. Get him out of here. Call the, you. Call the cops. Right? Um, so, so using our voice, using our body, it's a powerful tool. Um, and, again, I understand you know, the, uh, using our cell phones. When we're in a social setting, using our cell phones is kind of like a social buffer so that I'm not, because if I don't have anything to do and I'm just standing here, it's sort of an open invitation. Let's say somebody else is bored and they're not doing anything. They might start talking to me, which isn't bad. Um, but, you know, you might, <laughs> you could end up talking to this dude about his alien conspiracy theories or uh, somebody trying to get you into a pyramid scheme or just, you know, weirdos. If you're on the, if you've ever, if you've never ridden a city bus in like in the middle of the night, you know, you should try that out sometime and see uh, how interesting it is. Um, so I, we, we get into our phones as a way to sh a visual cue to everybody around me. Don't bother me. So I get it. However, I've got to be able to be aware, right? I've got to be able to be aware. Maybe I'm, I'm doing this to have that social buffer, but then I'm aware someone is starting to target me. They're, they're paying a little too much attention to me. They're staring at me aggressively. Maybe they're moving in my direction. And you can, when someone's making a beeline for you, you can tell. They're across the room and they're just walking. And I mean, they're just locked on like a shark, like a laser beam, like whatever. They're coming right at you. And so now I feel that energy and I might put my hands right here. Because this is, this is good. Now, I don't want to be like this everywhere I go. Like, oh, what's over there? Ah, what's over there? Ah, what's over there? So, so this is a good compromise. This, is, this looks natural and normal. I'm just, but my hand is near my face. Boom, boom. And when this hand becomes engaged, boom, this hand, bam, engaged. Right? So I go from here to here or from here to here very, very quickly. My hands were up. And most people... Uh, are when they're attacked, the reason they're taken by surprise is because their hands were down or at their pockets. Or the when guys are chest bumping and they're like, whoa, 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 you swing first, you swing first, right? That's you're inviting um, a sucker punch or a haymaker and, and you're gonna get knocked down, right? 
So rather, if someone was trying to chest bump me, I'm getting my hand out there. Before they even came over where they could touch my hand, I'm flipping my switch, get out of here, get away from me, get out of here. And other colorful phrases. Uh, and then they still close the distance. I've already got my adrenaline going, and so now I'm ready. I'm ready for this trip wire. As soon as they touch my hand, boom. As soon as they touch my hand, I'm punching, boom. Breathing out, punching. Because again, they're not coming over to uh, congratulate me for being a ridiculously good looking guy, right? So, um, yeah. So this is Fight Right 24-7, you know, using your voice, using your body, being aware of your surroundings. These are all things every human being can do to give themselves the best chance of surviving an aggressive encounter. And also, again, you know, that would-be mugger is looking around for somebody who's absorbed and not paying attention. So if I'm absorbed but I, I'm looking around and, and then I feel that aggression and all of a sudden I'm filming them or I look like I'm filming them. All of a sudden, I, 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 maybe I didn't turn to him, but I'm, I'm right here. Right? I'm, boom. I'm not here anymore. Put my phone away. I'm right here. Uh, plus, it's a really great pose. I mean, your biceps, right? So it's a good pose. Anyways, fight right 24-7. Stay safe out there. Good luck.